Hi, in this video we are going to take a look at phases and how you can use phases in hardcore kick sound design. First of all, let's start with the dry sound. This is a dance kick number 2 from FL Studios, legendary folder of dance kicks. I added some effects to the sound. Now we are somewhere. So now the important part. Let's talk phases. Phases work by creating a duplicate of the original signal and passing it through an all-pass filter. All-pass filter does not introduce any boost at any part of the frequency spectrum. It only changes the phase at certain frequencies, then these two signals, dry and wet, are mixed back together. Now, all the frequencies that are out of phase related to the original signal are causing the phasing effect. Usually, an LFO is used to modulate the all-pass filter's position, but in my example I limited the signal sweep to zero, so we just have a stationary phaser. When phaser is in stationary mode, it acts like some crazy comb filter or notch filter. I actually replicated the phaser sound with just Pro-Q3 to demonstrate. So, this is just a little demonstration of the effects of phaser with really high feedback. I'm running some white noise through this channel. This is how white noise looks like. Now, if we activate the phaser, it creates these peaks and notches. And um, looking at this, this just basically means that this can be used really effectively in sound design, because this is like a really, really rough filter. And if we start to move... As you can hear, we can create really odd harmonics with this. So, looking at this, let's take a sound that is much more interesting. So, let's say we have this kick from Harmor. And I have this phaser over here. Let's run it through the phaser. It is exactly what it should be. So, let's run it through Pro-Q3. I made this curve just to show you guys how this filtering actually looks. If we go between the phaser and the Pro-Q3, the effect is really similar. But as you can see, making this sort of filters is pretty, <laughs> pretty complicated stuff. So uh, it is much more useful to use phasers to create this sort of filtering effect. So now that you have a little bit of a grasp to phasers and how they work, let's check out some interesting phasers. This is from Rob Baben. To be honest, I really don't know that much about this plugin. And um, I think when I bought the raw kick, I did get this one for free or something like this. I don't really remember. Now I just realized how interesting effects you can get with this one. So let's bypass this first.
So, that is how we can use phasers to come up with kick sounds. So, if you are my Patreon above tier 3, you can download all of these files from my Patreon page, where the early access videos will be posted. Just wanted to say that um, if you don't have the Rob Parben phaser or modulation plugin, you can try to use FL Studio's stock phaser or maybe Serum FX phaser, or I would actually suggest to download all the phasers online that you can find for free. I'm not aware at the moment that are what are the best phasers to use and the phasers with most features, but I'm pretty sure that there is ones. This is pretty easy for you because this is a ready to go chain that I have. Only thing you really need to do if you want is to add a phaser in between and figure out the phaser settings with the knowledge that you learned from this video or wherever else. Thanks for the supporting. See you next time.